Hello. Welcome to another edition of Ask Expert. I'm Tim Bushnell with Expert Cytometry, and today's question comes from Amanda. And Amanda asks, what is autofluorescence? Well, that's a great question, Amanda. Autofluorescence is the inherent fluorescence in your cell population that you will measure upon excitation. It is intrinsic to the cells and something that we always fight in, uh, with in flow cytometry. Most commonly, the autofluorescence happens off of the 405 and the 488 lasers and excites in that um, greenish to yellow-green region, typically the, the FITSI channel, the, the 530-30 type band pass, will have a lot of autofluorescence. It reduces the sensitivity of the channel, um, and we need to design our experiments around it. In some cases, we can take advantage of autofluorescence to actually identify and isolate cells. Uh, liver Kuffner cells, for example, is a great place where you can use autofluorescence to identify the cells um, that you might be interested in. In general, however, autofluorescence is like I said, the inherent fluorescence in, the cell, in, in cells, and it increases with size. So the larger the cells, they tend to be more autofluorescent. So that's why megakaryocytes and macrophages tend to have, be brighter, uh, have a brighter background than something like a lymphocyte. If you're designing a panel and you need to make a sensitive measurement and you have autofluorescence and are affected by autofluorescence, move your fluorochromes to the far red channels. Think of something like you know, APC or Alexa 647 or something of that nature rather than rely on FITZ or PE. Thanks for another Ask Excite. Until next time, be sure to keep up with your flow cytometry best practices right here with your friends in flow, Tim and Team Excite.